Hello beautiful boys and girls, this is Joshua Locklear bringing you another tutorial. Today, we're going to go over the one thing I hate when people ask, or well, don't ask, or some ask, and some's too, I guess, chicken to ask. Wh whatever, I'm confusing myself. Adobe Audition is when you... I don't know, we're going to learn how to isolate sounds and trailers and you use the same thing for music and stuff. Say you want to do a trailer and you want to isolate the sound or the speech. You try not to have the background noise. This is a method of doing that. Sometimes it's perfect, sometimes it's not. I don't care. So, start off here, we're going to open Adobe Audition. Yes, that's what we're using. If you don't have it, God help your soul. So open that up and as you can see here I've already got something loaded this to Thor 3 trailer um, we're gonna use that audio mainly just the beginning so we're going to go to file if you don't have it and you go to import and import your file video or audio doesn't work because it's going to separate the audio right here and you know, as you can see from the layout you have edit um, whatever um, multi-track basically if you want to go ahead and do your own mixing and sound editing with multiple tracks on one you go to multi-track set up your tracks you, 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 you do that I don't do it here I do it when I'm editing video in the video section because you know I, I don't like multitasking um your effects very important now let's see let's play this audio see how it sounds like you're thinking how did this happen okay so we're gonna start here you left click you hold it in and you highlight the parts you want to isolate so let's try it again play it nope. now I know what you're thinking how did this happen okay so two ways you can do this either go to effects stereo imagery this is where this is all gonna happen and go to central center channel extraction I'd rather not do this right now but because if you go up here directly and you apply it it's applied to that and you can't really get rid of it unless you go to undo I want to do that right now so I'm going to come over to the file section and we're going to do the same thing this allows us to add effects without adding them because you can do all your work here that by the end of it before you export you can apply what you want to apply to the file and export so we're going to go to stereo imagery for God's sakes don't forget it's stereo imagery then center channel extractor. Oh my. I don't care. So right here I've already got it customized, but as you can see there's some pretty nifty uh little little settings here. Acapella, amplify voices, we're not well amplify vocals, boost signal channel ma bass <laughs> mass <laughs> karaoke lift vocals sing along and vocal remove well we're trying to lift the vocals so you can click that and it's going to affect the side channel levels bring it down to 48 that's what I always do and well of course it's a male voice it's Thor I mean it's pretty self-explanatory freaking morons but uh here we go I play it back now I know what you think how did this happen? As you can see, there's somewhat of a change. Now, there's a sometimes it's not going to get all the background noise because uh, some of the background noise is very powerful and large, and you have to try a couple of different methods to try and get it. I'm not going to say it's always going to work. One method I like to use is noise reduction. Let's see here. Where you at? 
Yes, people, I don't know everything about this freaking program, so don't, so, you know, get off my case. Yeah, what's up here? Okay. For the purpose of this tutorial, for noise reduction, you have to apply it to the clip directly. So, <clears throat> so, we're going to, oh boy, um, let's see, just capture noise print. This, basically, you go to a white noise section or a section that's got large large amounts of sound playing and you want to get rid of the sound so you capture that print by highlighting it so let me I guess uh, hold on I've got myself on the corner here look at that I highlighted that but you know obviously I make my markers there we go so we're going to now I know what you're thinking here. Back. Nope. Too much. Here we go. You highlight that little section where there's no speaking. Come over to noise reduction. You're going to capture the noise print. It's loaded. Cool. So, this is a tricky part. Sometimes it wants to comply, sometimes it doesn't. It's like a French hooker. It just doesn't want to do its job. And wow, that was pretty dark. I probably shouldn't have said that. Um, noise reduction. Okay. How did this happen? Let's see what it sounds like. How did this Okay, it somewhat worked. Let's, uh. Ah, you see? You see there? That's what I'm talking about. It's stupid. Try it again. You're going to capture the noise reduction. Noise print. I don't care. Whatever. Noise print. Captured. Okay. So, bring it to the markers. Let's try this again. Process. Okay. See what it sounds like. Now I know what you're thinking. How did this happen? Okay, it's not as prominent, but like I said, there's a lot of sounds going on here, and that's probably the worst, the worst example I could have picked. But I'm going with it. So, we're going to apply this. Okay. Alright. So, maybe I want to lift the vocals a little bit more. So, what I might try and do is do another central channel extraction. And this time we're going to amplify the vocals. Let's see what this sounds like. Now I know what you're thinking. How did this happen? Okay, well, let's see the differences here. If we cut it off. Now I know what you're thinking. Okay. Notice the differences. Now I know what you're thinking. I can't notice any difference. Oh boy. Um, oh jeez. Let's try this here. Let's say about 16.5 decibels should be enough to notice the difference. Now I know what you're thinking. How did this happen? Oh, no. Okay. Full 48. Now I know what you're thinking. How did this happen? I guess that's as good as we're going to get it. So, you know, for the purposes of this, if you feel like you got the audio the way you want it, obviously I don't because this would take too long to sit here and figure out. But, you know, I'm not going to spoil the fun for you guys because I really don't care about your well-being or anything. So, when you're done, you're going to go to Apply. If you worked in this little section here, you apply. It's gonna take a little while. There you go. Now I know what you're thinking. How did this happen? All right. Either you go to export file, or if you want to make things quicker, 
if you have a highlighted slot you right click you go to save selection as okay yeah we're gonna go to the desktop right here and we're gonna name this I hate you all for making me do this yes okay so you know you got your uh, format options here obviously you never want to do mp3 for any audio unless you want to put it on a like a system or you want to listen to it because mp3 is compressed audio and you want to have this as loss loose loss whatever just wave wave or flack or something along that nature something that's not compressed it's uncompressed it's going to sound a lot better so you go ahead and export and it's simple as that really um i really really don't want to sit here anymore and just stare at this thing so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this whatever tutorial. Maybe I'm going to do another one, but it's not going to be on Adobe Audition. Maybe it'll be Photoshop, or maybe I'll try another video tutorial because obviously you people have no idea what you're doing. So, um, yeah, um, stay tuned for something. You know, I, I don't have a scheduled release date, so yeah, just keep an eye out. Um, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I know what we're gonna do next. The fifth ring of Satan's hell is upon you all, and now. <laughs> oh boy, you're gonna see how difficult it is.